Now valence electrons in D block element. Now valence electrons you would think is, is a very simple concept. Okay, what is the concept? The concept itself is very simple. What it says is that the valence electrons are those electrons which participate in the bonding. So those are known as valence electrons. So now you would think that why is it so typical for D block elements? Like for other elements, as in P block elements, the determined number of valence electrons is not so uh, so difficult because it will always be in the uh, corresponding, right? So for if n is the period number. Uh, then this of course this is where you would find in the nth shell is where you would fi find the uh, valence electrons for s and p block elements whereas for the d block elements you would find the the valence electrons in ns uh, subshell uh, plus the n minus 1 d subshell in both of those subshell actually uh, contribute towards the valence electrons in the case of d block elements so for example if you look at uh, the fourth period okay so n becomes 4 so we have to look at both the 4s electrons as well as 3d electrons and both of those electrons can possibly okay depending upon the element both of those electrons 4s as well as 3d electrons they can contribute in the bonding they can be valence electrons in the case of the d block elements so let's take a look at uh, an example of scandium so scandium has uh, 4 s2 uh, plus there is also 3d1 okay and scandium exhibits the valencies of plus uh, sorry 2 plus and of course plus and plus 3 also so it has all of those three valencies in the case of the plus valency uh, only the d uh, subshell is participating the electrons are lost from the d subshell whereas in the other other two the 2 plus and 3 plus those those two valencies uh, 2 plus and 3 plus it is s orbit s 4s electrons are also participating so that was the example of scandium now let us look at the zinc on the other side zinc is also a d block element now in the case of zinc if you look at zinc then which electrons are participating see the configuration for uh, zinc electronic configuration is argon and top of argon we have 3d10 4s2 the only ion that zinc forms is 2 plus and in this only the s orbital the the electrons in the 4s orbital are actually lost so those are the only electrons which participate the 3d orbitals the 3d electrons are actually not participating in the case of zinc so in the case of zinc only the valence electrons lie in the 4s um, 4s orbital okay so that is the that is the thing in the case of d block elements we have to be cognizant about which electrons uh, actually participate in the bonding which are the valence electrons and they they differ another thing from this we can we can actually see is that as we move from left to right uh, in the d block uh, the participation of the the d electrons in bonding actually reduces or uh, it actually reduces or sort of the s electrons the the 4s the ns electrons actually become more and more active in and bonding and the reason being as the d is subshell starts getting full there is lot of energy loss due to exchange energy and that exchange energy we have discussed in a separate class it contributes it starts contributing more and more because of which the the d orbitals the d uh, the electrons in the d orbitals uh, become less important from the purpose of uh, valency and in the case of zinc they are completely have become not important the d orbitals have completely lost their value as far as they do not participate in bonding they are happy where they are and only the s electrons the 4s electrons they participate in the case of bonding the same goes for cadmium and mercury for all the other elements in the d block it is the both the combination of the uh, s the ns where n is the period number plus the n minus 1 d is the combination of those two electrons which is the valence electron from zim cadmium and mercury it is only the 4s 5s and 6s electrons that are the valence electrons so hopefully things are very very uh, clear now thank you